As the technology of infrared sensors has advanced and become more and more capable, they've been, been able to bridge the gap between IR sensors and night vision. Hello and welcome to another Ask an Expert. I'm Stan Boynick with Sierra Olympia Technologies. Today I'll be talking about night vision technologies and infrared sensors, the similarities and the differences between these two, the technology behind each one, the applications that each one is used for, and the advances in infrared sensor technology that have helped it to start bridging the gap and even pushing into some of the applications that were traditionally night vision sensors technology. Well, cameras that are usually referred to as night vision, low light type cameras, they amplify existing light. So low levels of existing light that exist in the environment, for example, at night might come from the moon, starlight, uh, even available city lights if you're operating in that kind of an environment. Sometimes you can see this if you see surveillance videos or something like that that are grainy green and black images you might see. These are often night vision type cameras, cameras that amplify the low levels of existing light. And depending on what kind of mission you've got, what kind of an operation you're doing, those might be appropriate. If anything limits night vision technologies, it's the reliance on the ambient light for it to work well. Um, infrared is going to work the same no matter what the ambient light situation is, whether it's a full moon night or a no moon night or a closed environment inside a building or something like that. Uh, infrared, since it works from the emitted radiation of objects, the ambient light doesn't matter. Night vision is going to rise or fall, succeed or fail, based on what ambient light is available. And that's one of the things that will limit, especially when you're talking about the detection range with night vision technologies. Pretty much any area where night vision has been used traditionally and has uh, its sort of its foothold in the marketplace or in a certain kind of application, um, infrared is a, is a candidate for that, again, as it has gotten smaller, less expensive, more capable. Uh, anything from surveillance applications to uh, portable applications. The military has the integrated visual augmentation system mounted uh, that is mounted on a person's head that incorporates both infrared and visible uh, technology and then displays it to the operator. You could say the same about aerial or other vehicle mounted systems as well. These tend to be fairly advanced types of applications with uh, highly uh, capable gimbals and so on. And the infrared sensors are making inroads into that application as well. Um, we're regularly working with systems where we're uh, seeing things at uh, one kilometer, multiple kilometers, 10 kilometers, even 20 kilometers, depending on what you're looking at. Uh, uh, people, uh, animals, um, ground vehicles, um, aviation type, you know, air, air, airborne vehicles, uh, boats in harbors and at, at ports and so on. Why is it that infrared sensors are, are making more inroads into these different types of applications? It's because the technology continues to advance. Uh, the infrared sensors are solid state. They don't rely on image enhancement tubes or anything like that. Uh, as with everything else in the world of electronics, they have gotten smaller. Uh, we have infrared sensors now that have image pixels that are 10 microns in size, six microns in size in some cases, very small, compact image sensors. And of course, with those advances in technology also come in general a reduction in cost for the capabilities that you can achieve. So all of these things factor into infrared sensors becoming good candidates for these different kinds of applications. So in conclusion, the big differences between night vision and infrared is that night vision relies on existing ambient light in an environment and therefore you are dependent on that light for your imagery. As the technology of infrared sensors has advanced and become more and more capable, they've been, been able to bridge the gap between IR sensors and night vision, even pushing into applications that previously were the realm of night vision sensors on their own. This has been Ask an Expert. I'm Stan Boynick from Sierra Olympia Technologies. We'll see you next time.